Now, its official name is the Union Church, but people in Phillipsburg know it more commonly as the Mud Church. We went to find out where it got its name and what makes it unique. It's one of the few things we have that goes back to the earliest days. But it's a way of emphasizing how the town was, uh, of telling people about how the town was settled and how the, town, the place was formed up. The Phillips family had the idea when they came from England in 1796, 1797, that they would replicate a country manor here, an English manor, you know, the big house up on the hill, the little church in the vale, and the happy settlers down below. And that's basically the layout of the town yet. But we're one of the few towns that still has the manor house and the little country church. That church is the first one built in Phillipsburg around 1820. And you can tell from looking at it that it has a lot of history behind it and surrounding it. It was originally the Phillipsburg schoolhouse as well and used to be just a log building. At first, it was a place where everyone of all faiths could come to worship. And when that was to be changed, the townspeople sued and won. So today... Anyone can still have a service in there. I'm trying to encourage people to have like Vesper services on Sunday or Sabbath services on Friday. It is still a union church, but most people refer to it as the Mud Church because in 1842, Mrs. Phillips decided she wanted to change the look to an English country church, like the churches she had back home. So when the stuck replaced the logs, people thought it looked like it was covered in mud. And the name has stuck since the 1800s. And keeping the name around isn't the only thing important to the community. But it's the building where everybody came together and the early settlers around here in the churchyard, a lot of them are buried here. It's a spot that, you know, will not be replicated. Should this go away, this will be, you know, we'll never see it again. So we're trying our best to keep it going. Can't be replaced because the building itself is a replica of the time period it was built. It's Gothic Revival and it's an imitation, it's a Gothic revival, it's a simplified American imitation of what you would see in the English countryside. And, you know, the spire in the front, uh, the little vestry in the back, the larger nave in the middle. And curator Luther Gett is proud of the church's history and how it continues to tie the community together. It can, it can, and it does, and I'm hoping it'll do so even more, you know, when I get around to I'm trying to encourage people to come. I'm proud of the fact that it's here and that many, many people have been involved in seeing that it is still here. But they would like to see more people take advantage and use the building that is available to them and have it be an active part of the community once again. Veterans are interested in doing more here. They have a veterans memorial down on the other end of town where they do their memorial day services and stuff but they would like to come up here also on Memorial Day. So we're trying, we're trying. The church's 200 year anniversary is coming up in 2020 and some things need to be tended to and repaired, like the surrounding stone wall that was built in 1909. The salt thrown onto the road during the winter months is slowly eating away and destroying the wall's foundation making it less sturdy with each passing year. But the church is pretty close to being all original, except for a few renovations, like new glass windows and the chandelier hanging right inside the door. Both the chandelier and windows are modeled after the originals to keep it authentic. And staying as close to the original look as possible is important because it is a constant reminder of what the community was like back in 1820. We'll know what the community was and, and who will know what the community, what the best part of the community could still be. So we're in this never, never land. So are we gonna keep on, you know, things are gonna keep falling apart and we're gonna try to keep it built up. The church is still in use and can be rented out for weddings and receptions.